world of Nadi astrology. My name is Dr. N. Srinivasan Shastri. Today we are going to take up with Ketu. Ketu in different houses from Jupiter. Okay. What does Ketu say? Usually Ketu says about the death end, about the liberation, about bath in holy waters, about end of bad periods. All these things are signified or denoted by Ketu. So, when Ketu sits with Jupiter, when Ketu sits with Jupiter, immaterial of the sign, whatever Rasi or sign, when Ketu is conjoined with Jupiter, it will give, Jupiter is the native, it will give the native lot of tensions. He cannot be having peace of mind. Unnecessary turmoil, unnecessary tension will be built up in his head. This is how he will be having his mentality. And because of these tensions, two things may arise. One, he will have migraine or headache frequently. Two, he will be suffering from constipation. These two things I have seen a lot. So I am telling you all, when Ketu sits with Jupiter, he will be having these two problems. And one more thing is, he will be having the argumentation type of mentality, boiling department, wild. So he will get wild when he is angry. He or she, he or she, okay? He or she, when they have Ketu with Jupiter, they will get very angry, very fast, and they will be dominating type. They cannot listen to anybody. They make others listen to them. This is the nature of Ketu. And uh, regarding the mentality part of it, they are service motto, they give the services, but they will be always seeking for uh, sympathy. They are called as sympathy mongers. People who have Ketu with Jupiter will be called as sympathy mongers. So, this is what about Ketu with Jupiter. Okay, next we will go to the next second house. If Ketu sits in the second house, when Ketu is there in a natal chart, in a natal chart, when Ketu sits in the second house from Jupiter, a material of Rasi or a sign, that says that there will be delay in the marriage. Or if marriage happens also, problems may arise in the marital life. Or sometimes that may lead for divorce also. Again, I'll repeat. There will be problems in the marital life. There will be delay in marriage. Or even if there is a marriage and it is not delayed, the marriage may not stick for long. Unless and until a benefit planet aspects this second house. This is what I have seen. Okay. And second house Ketu, it will also give wastage of money or money flow, outflow will be very fast okay people who have uh, in uh, ketu in the second house this is the problems they are going these are the problems they are going to face okay ketu in the third house ketu in the third house ketu in the third house <coughs> ketu in the third house gives the native he or she a beautiful life after 36 years of his or her age okay because 1 to 12, 12 to 24, 24 to 36, the third round. After Ketu only, all the bad periods are going to come to an end and the good periods will, is going to begin. This is what I have noted. So Ketu in the third house also speaks about travels to watery places or pilgrimage centers. Ketu in the third house will be that native, he or she will be stubborn, stuck to one thing. And they will do, or uh, what do you call that? Though they have got very less inner strength, they try to fight. Though they have inner strength, the less less inner strength, they try to fight with the problems and try to struggle through and come out. This is what Ketu gives in the third house. Okay, Ketu in the fourth house. What is fourth house? Ketu in the fourth house. Fourth house is nothing but mother. Fourth house is nothing but the house, domestic house. Fourth house is nothing but 
happiness of the family or happiness inside the family. When Ketu sits in the fourth house, first thing is the house in which this person, the native, he or she is born, will be situated towards the dead end of the road or there will be a diagonal road in front of the house. These two things are possible. Okay. And these people, the native who has Ketu in the fourth house from Jupiter, he or she, immaterial of the sign, the Rasi, where Ketu is placed. These people will not have satisfaction in life. They will have everything. But satisfaction part of it will be giving them trouble now and then. Okay, they will feel unsatisfied. And the house also will be lengthy in shape, just like a railway bogey. I am talking about the birth house. Okay, it will be like a railway, the width will be less, length will be more. I don't call it rectangle, I call it like a railway bogey because the length is too much. Okay, and when Ketu sits in the fifth house, when Ketu sits in the fifth house, fifth house is aspected by Jupiter also. From Jupiter, Ketu is sitting in the fifth house, immaterial of Rasi or sign, whatever Rasi, whatever sign it may be. In that native's case, he or she, whoever she may be or he may be, they will be having trouble in getting the children. First thing. Second thing, fifth house also denotes about Purva Janma Karmas. So, Pitru Dosham. Ketu is nothing but Pitru. So, Pitru Dosham will be there. Because of that Pitru Dosham, these people may, may suffer from children uh, or conceiving the conceiving the children or childless problem okay if at all it is aspected by if at all ketu is aspected by a benefit planet chances will be different they may go for some medic medic medicinal help and they may get it rectified and they may get along with a child so this is what ketu in the fifth house does for a uh, need <coughs> excuse me he or she Okay, and uh, Ketu in the sixth house, Ketu in the sixth house from Jupiter. Ketu in the sixth house from Jupiter. Sixth house is about open enmity, sixth house is about loans and credits, sixth house is about pets. So, all these things are affected by Ketu when Ketu sits there. When Ketu sits there in the sixth house, there will be trouble from the serpents. One thing. There will be trouble from the um, uh, pets. There will be trouble from the pets. And open uh, loans or credit. There even those people try to harass them. Not all. Only some. Okay. So this is the effect which, give, which is given by Ketu in the 6th house from uh, Jupiter. Okay. Ketu in the 7th house. Ketu in the seventh house. Ketu in the seventh house from Jupiter. He, uh, he or she, the native, he or she, immaterial of whichever Rasi Ketu is sitting. But it has to be in the seventh house from Jupiter. These people who are having Ketu in the seventh house, these people will not have a happy marital life. There will be difference of opinion. Please, whenever I say something, so many people comment that you are only saying about bad things. Ketu is a malefic planet, so I will get only a malefic result. It's not a benefic planet. So this is what I get. And whichever area he is placed, he is going to censor that particular aspect. So, trouble from friends, trouble in the marital life or difference of opinion between the Husband and wife, whether he or she, his sufferings will be there. Okay. And Ketu in the 8th house. Ketu in the 8th house. Ketu in the 8th house will bring trouble to the native, he or she, through electricity. Electricity, some wires, some oven, some microwave, whatever it may be. From a little shock, minor shock to a major shock. 
minor accident to a major accident they have to be careful with the electricity because this is ayushtanam they should not get too much involved in electricity things or electric electrifications or wires or something like that they should not play with those things induction stoves and uh, well, all these things electric electrical things you know what i have to say you know all those things so they will get or they will see danger only through these things wires electricity these are the two things which will like, travel to them trains because kedu is nothing but tracks trains means i don't say you don't travel in train but you have to be careful even when there is some electrical appliances which are inside the train touching that or removing that handling things like that so that will give them the effect next ketu ketu in 9000 these people will become very spiritual after their 42 years of their age even though they are not attached to spirituality whenever i say spiritual it means not prayers or pujas or not visiting temples it means that they will have that energy and they will try to get or seek advices to receive that knowledge of spiritual energies that interests them from 22 years of their age when ketu is standing or sitting in the ninth house immediately of the rasis and the native may be he or she both the same results clear and ketu in the 11th house one more thing i would like to say here i was talking about previously also i was saying about the trinal signs trinal signs means when jupiter now jupiter is here the fifth house planet in the fifth house from jupiter whichever planet is situated that planet gives the significations to the jupiter okay and ketu in ninth also because from ketu jupiter is five so trinal signs are aries leo sagittarius mesham simham and dhanus these are the trinal signs whoever sits of course when i take about come conjunction sun and moon and uh, moon and sun or uh, moon and jupiter moon uh, sun and jupiter you will know about this first we will finish with conjunction and then we will go for two or three planets conjunction conjunction placed in different places this all we are going to cover but right now this is the last step where we are going to know about the uh, places from jupiter planets in different places from jupiter okay so 7 8 9 10 thous ketu if ketu is there the father will have lot of tensions and the father will have uh, after the birth of this child after the birth of this child the father will have some troubles financially domestically for a period of one and a half year after the birth of the child this particular native he or she after one and a half year he is going to slowly pick up in his life unless and until he is having a benefic aspect this will happen when once he has a benefic aspect it will not take place remember that also okay and ketu in the 10th house it will also give the native he or she in material of the sign or rasi the ketu is placed just 10th house from jupiter he or she will have troubles in their profession they like to change their profession frequently or they may take up uh, hr department teaching type of professions or all these things may happen okay this is about ketu in the 10th house ketu in the 11th house ketu in the 11th house ketu in the 11th house what does 11th house say Eleventh house tells us about friends. Eleventh house tells us about your profit margins or profits after income and expenditure. Eleventh house also tells us about your luck. Fifth and eleventh both give you luck. So when Ketu stays there, the native who is having Ketu in his eleventh house, immediately of this sign, he will not have many friends. All are counted by fingers. 
only few friends he will have. This is when Ketu sits in the 11th house. And if at all he has a friend, there will be trouble from the friend. Because this is a malefic planet. When a malefic planet sits in the 11th house, it will give trouble to that particular aspect. Okay? And Ketu in the 12th house. Ketu in the 12th house. Ketu in the 12th house, so many people say it is, it will lead the native to moksha. I don't know whether to agree about that or not. Let me not put you in controversy. I think it is not the case. But 12th house is nothing but bed pleasures. 12th house is nothing but secret enmities. That will be very strong. The gentleman, he or she, the native, he or she, who is having Ketu in the 12th house from Jupiter, will suffer a lot from unknown enemies, backstabbing people. This he will have, this sufferings will have. Okay? And danger through waters is also seen. He should, these people should not go for swimming. Or if they go for swimming, they have to be very careful. There may be great swimmers, record holders, old record holders, having Ketu in their 12th house. That does not mean that this is not affected. One fine day, when the time is bad for the native, it will affect them. This is what I was trying to stress. Right? So, I think today I have finished about K2. And uh, this will be the end for the planetary, different planets placement from Jupiter. The next step we are going to enter into conjunction of planets. I will take up Jupiter first because Jupiter is the Atma Karaka. Jupiter is the main source for me. So I will take Jupiter and Sun, Jupiter and Moon, Jupiter and Mars. Like this I will try to. It is not in different placement. It is conjunction in any sign. Okay. This is what I am going to do next. If you like my videos, please give a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos kindly subscribe comments we welcome but let that comments be a little sensible because any comment should be having an answer and that answer should help you just for writing sake if somebody writes uh, i don't think that is okay but still i welcome it whatever you write that that shows your happiness in writing that okay so till then till i meet you next time Next time for conjunctions. Now the main theory is going to begin. All these days we were knowing about things. Now we are going to enter into the area where we are going to play with the planets. Okay. So till then.